Teddy, don't forget the hammer. Throw off your pounds and throw off your frowns with Runk Man and Stupid Teddy. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Oh, Teddy, <laughs> you're so scary. Well, good morning. Oh, hey, YouTube. All that jazz. I already had breakfast. It's kind of lunchtime right now. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> it's just what time I woke up yesterday. Uh, that's terrible. Uh, last night I went to bed at 3 o'clock in the morning again. Uh, and probably laid in bed till like 4 in the morning. I should have taken like an Ambien or something. But I hate taking medication to go to sleep. So, I don't do that. Who was, who was saying? I think it was Barbara. Um, I don't remember your YouTube name, but... Uh, you ride a Harley Davidson, and that's wicked hot. Um, <laughs> and so I was going to go to the Harley Davidson store, because you said you should go check out the Harley Davidson store for a jacket for Teddy. Because uh, they have, like, Harley Davidson jackets for dogs and stuff. I think I'll do that. I think I'm going to go try that out. Try to squeeze the other Teddy in here. He's, he's falling out. This is my key holder. Every time I come into the room, I always take my keys, and I go, Take it, Teddy. And then that one takes it. Not that one, though. Okay. Off we go. Oh, and also, you may have noticed, I still don't have a roommate. I don't have any, like, sweet mates. I've been by myself for a week now. Yeah, one week. And you'd be like, oh, that's great, but... Getting kind of lonely. Like, there's no noise. I don't hear anybody else in these cotton-picking dorms, like... I kind of feel like I'm the only person here, like, in this entire campus. So I'm gonna go out and about and see if there's people out there in the world. Ah, my chocolate delight. I'm gonna miss this place when I'm gone. I mean, you always kind of want what you don't have. Like, right now, I really want to get to, like, a big city. Um, I'm excited about moving to Baltimore because, you know, that's kind of the D.C., Baltimore, big city, East Coast area. Uh, but there's something nice about being up here in like this scenic, scenic land. Let's see if I can show you. Like, just looking out the window and seeing that. I'm gonna miss seeing all of that. Just right across the street from our, uh, from our campus. I mean, they, they really picked this place good when they were looking for a place to put a campus, so. Some people hate it up here, though. Like, people that come from the big city, that come up here, they're like, ah, oh, there's nothing to do. And that's kind of true. Um, but I, I kind of like it. If you've never been up to Sedona or Jerome, Jerome is a really cool place to go as well. I should take you guys there sometime. It's very Western. Like, I didn't know that Arizona was this, like, cowboy hat-wearing, gun-toting, uh, Republican-boasting kind of state, but but they are. And uh, they like themselves some John McCain and Sarah Palin out here. There's bumper stickers everywhere. It's hilarious. And um, in California, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but they have these stickers that say SoCal for Southern California. And then out here, I've seen people that take the exact same like typeface and they put on the back of their car, not Cal. N-O-T-C-A-L. Because they don't like Californians. So there's this kind of like resentment and animosity towards people that are from California. And me having an out-of-state license plate from California, I kind of get a lot of flack. And I talked about it a few weeks ago, like, I pulled in front of somebody to go to the, uh, go to the gas station. And, uh, you know, that was, that was not good. <laughs> he pulled over with me and, and he got all angry. He's like, hey, don't do that. So, whatever. It'll be nice to kind of be on the East Coast where, where people drive fast and 90% of the population is not over the age of 85. <laughs> but as always, you know, you 
like I just said, you, you always want what you don't have. You know, you always want to be skinnier. You always want to be living in a different place or have a nicer car. And uh, sometimes you forget those little things, just enjoying where you are. Just living in the moment, I guess. I know that's all really very philosophical, Dave, coming from a 24-year-old kid. But, I mean, really think about it, though. Like, I wanted, um, I wanted my own room. And here I've had my own room for a week now. And I'm like, oh, I can't stand being alone. And after I said that, I was like, really? Am I really complaining that I'm by myself right now? <laughs> I just don't like being completely alone. Like, at least having somebody live in the suite, you know, you can at least talk to somebody. And the only person I've been talking to myself for the last week has been myself. So, um, at least having like a dog or something, I'll be happy to have my dog with me again. And I talked to Katie on the phone, but, you know, she's still all the way in California, so I can't talk to her whenever I want, you know, whenever she's back in the room. So that's that. That's my tangent. I'm going to shut up now and um, see what they got here at this Harley Davidson store. So. Okay. Well, the Harley Davidson store was a no-go. But the lady in there was really nice, and she told me to go to the Barkery, or like the Pet Depot. So she said, go down this street, and then make a left. So, that's what I'm gonna do. So, that's the last piece of my chocolate delight. And here we are, at the Pet Depot, and Bakery. Let's check this out. <gasps> Ooh. Hi. Hi there. I'm doing well. Good. Can I help you find anything? Do you guys have... I'm, well, I'm looking at it right now. But jackets that have pockets. That's what I would be looking at. Oh, there's more of a selection here. There's a little sweatshirt. What size dog? Oh, that might work. Okay, I think I got it. I'm not going to show you until I put it on Teddy, but... If it doesn't work, she said I could bring it back. I just kept the receipt. So, yeah. Okay, so you guys want to see what I got Teddy for uh, for his little jacket here? Here we go. Okay, so here's the jacket that I got. This is uh, Pet Rageous. <laughs> it's like it's outrageous, but it's Pet Rageous. It's just a little jacket. But here's the little pocket in the back. And uh, it's not, I mean, that could be like a Teddy Paw, couldn't it? You know, like a little Teddy Paw. And it's got a hoodie. So, here we go. Okay, I feel I should do a warning before we get too far into this. The following program is intended for mature audiences. Alright, come here, Teddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cover yourself up. There you go. Modesty. Modesty is the best policy, Teddy. Teddy, it'll be over soon. Stop fussing. Oh, there you go. A job well done. Let's cover your little bootyous Maximus. Okay, and here's my trusty inhaler in all of its splendor. And we just slide that into Teddy's pocket. That way it's not in my pocket. Ta-da! And you would never know it's there. So, that's pretty cool. Teddy, you got a new outfit. You should thank Aunt Kathy for giving us that idea. Thanks, Aunt Kathy. So um, this is kind of a cool idea, like if you have asthma problems and you go out and about or if you have a child that has uh, some asthma problems, uh, you can get like this little outfit for a teddy bear and then put your medication in the back little pouch. Um, so I'll definitely take Teddy along for my next bike ride so that I don't have an asthma attack while I'm out there. Or if I do, I'll be well prepared. So. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> So we are off and on our way. Uh, Teddy and I just got a call from our buddy Lyndon, who is um, going.
going to the movie theater. And Teddy, do you want to let him know what we're going to go see today? Yeah? Okay. Go ahead and show him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's nice, Teddy. Yeah. We're going to go see Thor. Um, so Teddy wanted to bring his hammer. So I have to let him bring his hammer. Stupid Teddy. Okay, so for those of you that are new to my uh, channel who have just subscribed in the last few weeks, um, the reason I have a teddy bear, the reason I take him everywhere, is because he's from my fiance, and uh, he used to be wearing a shirt that said Chapman loves me, and uh, or someone at Chapman loves me, and that's the college that my fiance is graduating from next week. Congratulations, Katie! Yeah. So he's kind of like my Wilson. If you ever saw Castaway when Tom Hanks is just by himself for far too long and he needs somebody to talk to, and he has that volleyball. <clears throat> Teddy's my volleyball, okay? So, uh, somebody asked me a question, they're like, we know how you and Katie met, but how did you and Teddy meet? And, um, I'm, I'm preparing that vlog for another date and another time, but uh, I will touch on that. Because it's, it's kind of a funny story, isn't it, Teddy? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of a funny story. Okay, off to the movies! <laughs> well, good evening. The movie was awesome. I highly recommend you guys go see it if you like those kind of uh, hero comic book action movies. I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed Natalie Portman, uh, as you know, from Black Swan, so yes. Um, but Teddy, he, he liked the movie too, but he's, he's wiped out. It's 10 o'clock at night, he's, he's over here sleeping. He curls up in a ball, and he just goes to bed. He's like a dog. Alright, so that's it. That is it from us tonight. I uh, wish you guys a wonderful evening, or morning, or whenever you watch this. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! No, Teddy. No.